conversation between two friends. As you listen, write down some of the details in the right column. You will need to write a time or length of time or a few words to describe the activities. Some of the items have already been completed. How do you spend your day, Tom? Well, right now I'm in high school, but I also have a part time job. But I'm pretty busy. I get up early, around 6 a.m. Then I work from 7 until 9. I go to school at 9 30, and I study until 4 p.m. Then I work again from 5 until 7. So what do you do? I'm a dog walker. What? What's that? A dog walker. I take people's dogs for walks. It's great, and it keeps me in good shape, too. Then what do you do after 7? I have supper at 7 30. I start to do my homework at 8. It often takes about an hour and a half to finish the work. Then I watch TV for about two hours. I go to bed at 11 30. Your day is hard, the same as mine is. Daily schedules. You are going to hear a conversation between two friends. As you listen, write down some of the details in the right column. You will need to write a time or length of time or a few words to describe the activities. Some of the items have already been completed. How do you spend your day, Tom? Well, right now I'm in high school, but I also have a part time job. But I'm pretty busy. I get up early, around 6 a.m. Then I work from 7 until 9. I go to school at 9 30, and I study until 4 p.m. Then I work again from 5 until 7. So, what do you do? I'm a dog walker. What? What's that? A dog walker. I take people's dogs for walks. It's great, and it keeps me in good shape, too. Then what do you do after 7? I have supper at 7 30. I start to do my homework at 8. It often takes about an hour and a half to finish the work. Then I watch TV for about two hours. I go to bed at 11 30. Your day is hard, the same as mine is. Mike and Ellen's Day. Listen to Mike, Susan, and Ellen. Talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart below as you listen. Hello, my name is Susan Miller. I'm a newspaper reporter. I'm taking a survey on people's daily schedule. Mike, could you tell me what your job is? Sure, I'm a bank manager. That's great. So, what are your working hours? Well, it's a regular nine to five office job. So I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though I like to go out with my friends at night. I go to bed around 11. Thank you, Mike. What about you, Ellen? My job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. 
I start work at six in the morning, so I have to get up before five a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. I usually get up at eight in the morning. Why do you get up so late? Because I go to bed very late, usually about one o'clock in the morning. I get home at eight in the evening. Then I often have to work late for next day's newspaper. I see. Well, I can't stay up that late. I often have long flights, so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always go straight to bed around ten. Thank you very much, Ellen. Mike and Ellen's day. Listen to Mike, Susan, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart below as you listen. Hello, my name is Susan Miller. I'm a newspaper reporter. I'm taking a survey on people's daily schedule. Mike, could you tell me what your job is? Sure, I'm a bank manager. That's great. So, what are your working hours? Well, it's a regular nine-to-five office job, so I get up at seven a.m. and get home around six p.m. That's okay, though. I like to go out with my friends at night. I go to bed around eleven. Thank you, Mike. What about you, Ellen? My job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning, so I have to get up before five a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. I usually get up at eight in the morning. Why do you get up so late? Because I go to bed very late, usually about one o'clock in the morning. I get home at eight in the evening. Then I often have to work late for next day's newspaper. I see. Well, I can't stay up that late. I often have long flights, so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always go straight to bed around ten. Thank you very much, Ellen.